Good morning, everyone. My name is Said Tibet from Delhi MC. I'm here together with my colleague, uh, Shimotuji san uh, Executive VP at Toshiba. Uh, we're here to talk to you about industrial artificial intelligence, the next stage in IoT. And uh, you've heard Michael speak about AI. You've heard a lot about AI and the future. We're going into new generation of IT and new ways to drive further innovation. So we're here to kind of take you into a journey uh, around industrial AI with a number of examples. And I'm very happy to have my colleague here yes. talk to you about it. I'm Shigeo Shimotsu of Toshiba. I'm in charge of the IoT uh, business development and the technologies. Uh, let me introduce our IoT cases. IoT is widely used in a various uh, field in the industrial applications, such as the airport, uh, transportations, factories, and the logistics. First, let me introduce the Toshiba's IoT systems and the architectures. Toshiba's IoT, Spinex, a new stage of IoT derived from over 140 years of knowledge and expertise in manufacturing. Edge computing is critical for Spinex, a technology that optimally combines real-time data processing at the network edge with the cloud. It leverages Toshiba's know-how from semiconductor factories to analyze field data quickly for rapid decisions and timely actions. Spinex also creates digital twin, digital models of physical assets. Toshiba's knowledge and experiences in developing, operating, and maintaining machines allow Toshiba to accurately build the digital twin, which can anticipate problems and make improvement for better outcomes. Spinex is not only connecting machines. Our advanced technology in media intelligence makes it possible to understand human intentions and even the surrounding situations from interpreting human speech and image data. Toshiba's IoT cares for people. It connects not only things, but also the people who work together. By seamlessly connecting semiconductors, machines, factories, and people through our revolutionary technologies, the next stage of IoT will be realized. Spinex breathes new life into your business. Uh, let me introduce a couple of cases where the, we apply the AI technologies. First case is uh, elevators maintenance. We introduced the M2M IoT systems more than 10 years ago, and uh, the, these data, uh, maintenance data, are collected from the elevator to the operation centers. And uh, this kind of data is used not only to monitor the data, but also to predict the failure of the component of the elevators. In the past, we applied the regular uh, legacy uh, data analysis technologies, but recently we changed it to the uh, AI technologies, then the accuracy of the prediction is much improved. Second case is a uh, productions case. Uh, this is a case of our uh, partners uh, who produce, who sell the systems of the purified water. They introduce these systems more than the 20 or 30 countries because the original water, quality of the water, is different country to countries. So they have to tune uh, the chemicals to make the purified waters. In this case, the uh, chemical, uh, amount of the chemicals is controlled from the uh, AI technologies. Next case is the investigations of the electric power cables. To the, uh, recently, the power companies introduced, used the drone 
to find out the damage of the cable. And, uh, but uh, most of the cases, images, are normal one, but sometimes it has the damaged part. That kind of detections, damage detections, is realized by the AI technologies. Next case is the surveillance or the monitoring of the humans, group of the humans, peoples. Uh, the legacy image analysis technologies does not have so much accurate count the number of the persons in the certain areas. Uh, deep learning has a more accurate, better accurate uh, accuracy of the uh, numbering, the counting the persons uh, in the field. So this is a case uh, where the uh, normal the AI technologies, image understanding, so-called, or well, robot visions, uh, there are a lot of the uh, new technologies, new uh, technologies on image analysis are developed in the widely. We apply this kind of the image analysis technology to the industrial field. But uh, not only the image or video analysis, but also to the sensor data is uh, taken care by the similar technology as the image analysis. And uh, we use deep learning technologies to analyze the sensor data. Uh, in our cases, we categorize the applications of the AI to the industrial IoT has three, uh, one. One is the connections. Machine connect to the cloud or the servers uh, that transmit the data, but sometimes the data, uh, uh, the cable or the network uh, is limited. So then the, some sort of the uh, filtering should be done at the edge side. That kind of the uh, filtering or the smart filtering is implemented by AI technologies. And the second case is the control in the operations of the factory or the uh, electricity consumption management in the buildings, that kind of the control is enriched by the AI technologies. Third one is the cooperation with the operators or people. Because in most of the cases, machine is controlled or the monitored by persons. In that case, sensor data, if the sensor data is too much, then uh, the operators cannot take care of all of them. So then there are some sort of the smart filtering or smart monitoring systems is needed. That kind of the co operations with the machines and the people is the third stage. Looking at the characteristics of the data, image data, which is the 2D data, and the video data, image plus time, which means that 3D data. But for the sensor data, it is multidimensional. Because, the, uh, for example, the, uh, the factory case, uh, we use uh, more than the 1,000 sensors to detect the machine's uh, operations, which means that uh, 1,000 dimensional data is, should be analyzed in some, some sort of times. And for the operations and the cooperations, uh, control and operate cooperations, each the analysis should be real time. This kind of the uh, characters should be uh, classified into three Bs, famous three B of the big data analytics: volume, variety, and velocity. Volume, the because the uh, every day, every minute, every second, the sensor data transmitted to the servers, the that data is stored in a, uh, systems, and the numbers of the uh, data is accumulated uh, hour by hour, or minute by minute, or second by second, and that kind of data is very useful to find out some sort of the characteristics of the machines, but that kind of data. Uh, volume is too high, some sort of the new technology should be introduced. Variety. As I told, sensor data 
is usually the, some large number of the sensors are attached to the machines to monitor the uh, status of the machines, which means that wide variety of the uh, data should be taken care of. Not only the machines, for example, in the case of the smart community or smart cities, and they, for example, in the mall, if the owner of the mall uh, wants to uh, monitor how the customer's uh, behavior, then the, not only the image sensors, but also the, some sort of the uh, humidity or weather forecast data or the wide variety of data should be taken care of the, to analyze the uh, op, op, uh, attitude of the customers. And the velocity, as I told that, some of the systems should be real, uh, real time. So then the uh, velocity or speed of the analysis is one of the issues for the new AI technologies. Let me introduce the, our, one of the, uh, couple of cases for the deep learning analysis uh, in the three Bs. First one is a smart factory case. This video shows the, our NAND memory factory. Uh, they have the almost 4,000 machines. Uh, and uh, two, 200 kind of the sensors. And uh, each chip correspond has the almost, for producing that one chip, the almost the six, six million data are collected. In total, about the two billion records of the data per day are uh, accumulated, uh, stored in the systems. This data is very useful to detect the cause of the defect in for the and uh, to improve the uh, machines uh, efficiency or the uh, production efficiencies. Another case is the smart building case. This image shows our the office buildings. This building has uh, almost two twenty thousand sensors in the fifteen uh, floor buildings. And uh, the sensors is not only the single one, but single type, but the uh, human detection sensors, humidity, or CO2, or temperature, that kind of the data are collected uh, every minute. And uh, this data is used to control the elevators, or light, or air conditioners. One of the business merit is to reduce the power consumption efficiently. This kind of the new uh, the value is created by deep learning technologies. And uh, it, as I told, volume, velocity, variety. This kind of the new uh, the issues should be taken care of by the new approach or new technologies. For the volume, we have the new, uh, new parallel distributed uh, systems, which is for the training of the uh, neural network for the deep learning. Because the, the number of the data, train data, is so big, then the one servers cannot take care of in a certain minutes. So we develop the parallel systems for the learning of the systems, the learning of the neural networks. And uh, this is the one of the approach, one of our technologies to realize their AI technologies in the actual field. Another one is a neural network structure optimizations. Image analysis and video analysis. There are several, a lot of the new, uh, architectures of the neural networks is uh, reported and published. But the sensors data, the, the uh, public available uh, technology is not so much. So we have to develop uh, by ourselves all the neural networks for sensor data analysis. In this case, we have to find out the best uh, neural network topology, which is the uh, hyperparameters should be selected automatically. So this kind of the automatic, uh, automatic selections of hyperparameters is New, uh, consumes a lot of computations. 
So we have the collaborations with the Dell EMCs to realize this kind of the machine uh, scheme. And the, because the large amount of the data should be taken by parallel systems. For example, our building case, uh, two, uh, 20,000 sensors data uh, datas per minute. Such kind of data is uh, in the parallel systems, uh, uh, taken care by the parallel systems. The, each uh, the sh uh, computer node should share the almost two gigabyte uh, for improving for training phase. So then the uh, some sort of the uh, fast systems, fast communication systems between the nodes is needed. So we developed uh, together with the Dell AMC to enhance this kind of the features, uh, implement the, this kind of the technologies. And uh, we submit this architecture to the uh, IIC, Industrial Inter Internet Consortium, as the one of the test of it for the deep learning facility. They approved our the architecture uh, as the first deep learning testbed, and uh, we will expand uh, with Dell EMC to the more actual the cases. So these are the, our approach of the industrial uh, AI applications to the industrial segment. And uh, we have a lot of the possibilities or capabilities of the AI. Uh, we found that kind of capabilities to the uh, new field of the IoT space. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, shimotoji san So you have heard about the work that we're doing in industrial artificial intelligence. You know the challenges around compute and storage and the challenges around incomplete data, incomplete information with billions of data points. The work that we're doing is to make it real. Industrial AI with specific example, such as the work that we're deploying in Kawasaki, for example, and other use cases will make this happen together uh, with Dell EMC and Toshiba collaboration. Thank you. Thank you.